Hello everybody, welcome to another video from Gus Tech. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Sennheiser Game One headset. That's G4ME1 headset. Leet speak for you. Uh, this headset is one of the top of the line gaming headsets. It actually probably is the top of the line as far as gaming headsets are concerned. We're gonna be taking it apart as far as the unboxing is concerned, showing you some of the initial thoughts and impressions and see if it's worth your consideration. Let's get straight to the unboxing. As we look at the outer box, we can see it's actually pretty premium. It has a lot of the details on uh, some of the special features of this headset of the Sennheiser Game One. And uh, well, it looks all nice and good. Let's go ahead and take it apart as it should just slide out one side. After much struggling, it finally is coming out. Uh, I don't really love this packaging style and it's still giving us lots of issue all right now we can get this out of the way it's got some nice little branding on the inside box here as we open it up you can see the packaging that they display it in looks very nice the headset itself is contained here you can see the cord is wrapped inside of it and you're going to notice that this cord is extremely long we're going to get into that in just a second here let's take it out All right, and that's all we have. Just the headset in there, no driver discs, no whatever fluff, just a very nice box to put your headset in. Taking a look at the headset itself and actually feeling it for the first time, this is a very nice headset and you can feel the premium quality. You can see it has a very nice aluminum uh, siding here where you can see the Sennheiser logo. You can also see it has a volume adjuster right here where you can decrease or increase your volume. This will fit on the right ear cup. On the left side, we have our actual microphone boom. Now, interesting thing about this, this boom will go really, really low. You're usually not gonna have it quite that low. But when you go all the way up, there's a little clicking sound it makes. Right there, and that click means that it's muted when it's up. So it's gonna mute when it goes up into that vertical orientation. Let's take a look at the cord here for a moment. I want to focus on this. Uh, first off, the Velcro is really nice because even though the Velcro works against itself, it's not actually going to get caught on the braided cable, which is really nice because a lot of times these Velcro parts will ruin the braided cable of your actual cable that's supposed to be tying together. So we're going to put that back together here. And look at how long this cable is. This is three meters long, or in real measurement terms, it's about nine and a half feet in real measurement. So, uh, I don't know if any of you are sitting nine and a half feet away from your computer, but if you are, this cord is going to reach that long. <clears throat> On the end, we can see it ha does have very nice little adapters, uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks, one for audio, one for uh, your microphone. If you want to have this headset work with something like an Xbox One, PlayStation 4, or even your phone, it can. All you have to do is buy this little adapter kit. It's about 10 bucks. It's the Sennheiser PCV05. And uh, it, it basically is just gonna convert your two cords into one. You don't have to buy the one from Sennheiser. You can buy it from pretty much anyone. They're really just a few bucks and it's just going to convert your two 3.5 millimeters into one that has a microphone input. Again, overall impression of the headset, very comfortable. You can see it's got a lot of uh, memory foam cushioning on the top here. Uh, it is plastic, but it feels like a very premium plastic. It doesn't feel cheap or, or thin or brittle. And uh, even as you stretch it out here, it does seem like it has quite a bit of, of uh, resistance. So it's gonna fit rather tight, at least initially. A lot of the read things that you're going to read online will say the same, that it's going to fit tight initially, but it's probably going to spread out and get a little bit easier to fit later on. Let's go ahead and put it on. So these are open back. So the first thing you'll notice when you're wearing these headphones is that you can hear outside noises. You can't hear them great. Keep in mind, that means other people can hear what you're listening to. So you may want to be careful with what you're actually listening to when you have these on. Just saying. Uh, additionally, though, they, when they fit on your head, they are very comfortable. Uh, that top band really does do a great job of giving you that extra support, and the memory foam cups are nice and feel very 
uh, tight on your ears without putting too much pressure and you know making your head feel squeezed. So if you have a really big head, these might be a little bit small initially, but I know they're going to work into it, obviously, as most headsets will. Uh, but keep in mind, my head's not really the biggest in the world, but it's not exactly small. So I have to use the biggest setting on these, and uh, it fits very perfect, very snug for me. So if you have a really big head, you might want to reevaluate getting these headsets or uh, maybe something that's a little bit bigger for you. Uh, overall impressions though and overall quality of the product it does look extremely nice now keep in mind a couple of nice things about this uh, most people are going to recommend that you get an amplifier uh, something to, to amplify your sound you really don't need an amp with these headsets these only have 50 OHMs or ohms and uh, what that means is that your, your impedance is really really low so you're not going to get a whole lot of uh, feedback or static running through this cable even with how long it is and you're really going to get a pretty good sound reproduction without purchasing an additional amplifier you should have as not enough volume pushed through these to really be okay uh, some of the other benefits and features of this the microphone does have a, an active noise canceling so the inside is going to pick up what you're actually saying from the inside of the boom the outside is not the outside is going to pick up other sounds and it's going to filter those sounds through the actual headset's drivers, which is a pretty nice feature. This is one of the only gaming headsets you can buy that has active noise canceling, and if this is anything like Sennheiser's other headsets that they use for professional use, which it is, the noise canceling is going to be better in these than just about anything you can get on the market. So a very nice, high quality microphone and very, very good uh, noise canceling built into it. The frequency range on these goes as low as 15 hertz for very good low end bass, and upwards of 28,000 hertz for really nice high sounds. And again, it should give you a very good sound reproduction overall. Uh, as I said, we're pretty satisfied with these. They feel nice, they feel sturdy. Uh, really excited to start using them and actually uh, get some play out of them. But obviously, like I said, Sennheiser's done a great job with their packaging, done a great job keeping it very simple. You take the headphones out, you plug them in, they're ready to go. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to fiddle with manuals and drivers and warranty information and also their garbage is going to clutter clutter up your space so we're impressed with it and that's about all we have to say about it thanks for joining us for our unboxing of the sennheiser game one headset this is an open back headset it's going to give you very nice open clear sound and additionally we've been very impressed with our initial unboxing the quality is definitely here from Sennheiser as we would definitely expect from a $200 headset. Now, some things to consider. This is typically gonna be right around $200. They do come in black and white. You can also get it in the closed format. The only difference between the Game 1 and the Game 0 is Game 0 is the closed headset. So it's zero for zero noise, maybe. Maybe it's the one before one, I don't know. Anyway, the Game 1 has been very impressive. Uh, we were excited to see the implementation of raising the microphone boom for the mute switch. It's obviously very nice, and this is definitely worth your consideration as far as we're concerned from an initial quality standpoint. Like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or you just want to be heard. Make sure you click that subscribe button so we can continue making videos like this for you. If you are interested in purchasing the Sennheiser Game 1 headset, there is a link to purchase it from Amazon in the description below. And obviously clicking on that goes towards supporting us and we do appreciate it. Make sure to check back for more unboxings, reviews, technical analysis of different products, and different instructional videos to make sure that you're maximizing the performance in your hardware. Thanks again for joining us. We are Gus Tech, and we'll see you next time.